Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's a whiskey day, and that always makes me happy. So if you like whiskey days and you like what we're doing, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us that you are um, sharing with us. And we are going to be looking at um, a very rare whiskey. I don't even think they sell it anymore. Um, but this is an Alaskan whiskey from the Port Chillicoot Distillery called Old School. It's not on their webpage. It's, uh, I don't know, I guess, guess I stumbled upon it one time when I was up there. Uh, the last time I was up there, I think I bought it. I had never seen it before. And it could still be available, but of course you have to go to Alaska to get it. So it makes it quite expensive. You can't just jump in your car to go up to Alaska. You you can. Well, you can, but it's a trick. You don't want to do it in the winter time. Okay. You probably don't want to do it in the summertime too, because it's like forty-eight hours of nonstop driving from the lower forty-eight. But you well, can it's do actually it. a drive I always wanted to do. <laughs> but this could very well be possibly our last Alaskan whiskey or Alaskan anything. I think we have done them all. I could be wrong. Oh, I am wrong. We have one more alcohol from Alaska to do. I tricked you with it once. And that's the ghost pepper vodka. We still have not reviewed that. <laughs> you have a nightmare? No, I just can't Flashback. remember. Uh, but otherwise, this is our last whiskey from Alaska. This is from, like I say, the Port Chillicoot. And I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've never known if I'm saying that right. Um, distillery, it's in the lower part of Alaska, in the chain of islands, uh, down to, you know, the coast of Canada. You definitely side. can't drive there. No. Uh, this is just a whiskey. It's not a bourbon or a rye or anything. It is, cost about $25, uh, when I bought it, it's 45% or 90 proof, and it's aged at least three years. And we are the first to taste it because I didn't even pour any for the audience. I'm kind of seeing the method going because we're doing back to back episodes, and all of them have been high proof. Oh, yeah. Are you trying to take advantage of me or something? No, that's gross. Okay, so $25 makes this a three barrel on cost. It's a mixture of barley, corn, and rye. Barley, corn, and rye. And I think it's Alaskan barley. Barley, corn, and rye. Hmm. Remember? when we first started this, like years and years ago, and we were out in my kitchen, and we'd be filming, and then you'd start hearing like chips crackle and stuff, and Cody would be behind the camera with a bag of chips. Well, Guess what he's got? Yeah. He's got cookies. Not just any cookie, but cookies that came flying underneath the door, scooting on the floor. The most stuff. <coughs> Okay, review time. Nobody wants to try him because he, he had it under his arm, too. It is. No, nobody wants him. Should have never gotten you off track. It'll be years before we can get you back on the review. It doesn't change the flavor profile much. Okay, so at $25, this is a three barrel on cost. Pretty reasonable. Uh, again, I'm giving it threes across the board. You're giving it threes across the board, except for a bite. You're giving it two, and we'll talk about that, because that's kind of odd for you. For aroma, what are you getting? I'm definitely getting the corn. It's really... Mm -hmm. The sweetness of the corn. Mm -hmm. Kind of that honeyness, vanilla yeah. honeyness from the corn, yes. Got the urethane kind okay. of alcoholic. I said it was a little more meth methanol. methanol. Not, not methanol. Um, menthol. Menthol. Not urethane. But I can see that. It's kind not, of that medicinal aspect yeah. of it. 
Especially after you put the water in it. Mm -hmm. Can you get a little bit of the barley? A little and, bit, yeah. And the rye. It's got a spiciness. I think it's got a spiciness of that rye. For flavor, what do you got for flavor? Got a little le leather in it. Ooh. Okay. A touch of licorice and mint. Yes. I'm getting a little bit of anise char. Um, that leather I'm kind of associating with the mint, but I can see that. Um, it's very silky though. It's not very thick. It's very silky and thin. Um, and a little bit of spiciness to it, which leads us to the bite. You gave it a two. It just, I don't know. It seems like it's right on the tip of my tongue. It's just like. So more up front, not on the back end? Not on the back at all, but just the front. It's just like. Okay. Stinging my tongue a little bit. I gave it a three. I didn't find it very. I don't know. I, there's no real lingering. There's no real bite to it. So that's why I gave it a three. It's not a mild or a pleasant, so it doesn't get that four or five. It's just, it's there. I was surprised at your two. And it's got, on the flavor, there's something about it. Oh, yeah, it's definitely different. That I can't. And it's I put almost like I want to say like some breakfast cereal that I had some time ago that you didn't have on milk you just ate dry out of the box okay so probably something of a corn or a, a weeded cereal yeah I not, put, not a sugary cereal like one I put of a the, little kind of fungal type of Oh flavor. yeah, now you like say that. Like earthy fungal. I can get that. Kind of gave me a mushroomy aroma and flavor to it. It's not unpleasant. I like it. No, it's not it bad at all, but it's just like the, f the flavor is kind of like throwing me for a loop because there's something there that I can't that's kind of familiar, right. but I can't figure out what it is. I would like for you guys in TV land to notice the color there. And then let's pull this. That's the difference between a Texas, which to me is a lot darker. I guess you can't really tell on the camera. That's a lot lighter for about three years. This is about a three to four year. In Texas, it's a lot darker to me. And this is like, almost like a tea. It's very yeah. light. That's because of the temperature up there. Yeah, it's just amazing. I can pull off some much darker Texas whiskey. So, uh, tell us what you think if you've ever tried Port Chillicott. We've had their Boatwright bourbon, their Rackline rye, a couple of their gins. Uh, I think that might be it. Um, I think we have like four or five of theirs. They've all been pretty decent, pretty good for a small Alaskan craft distillery. Uh, tell us what you think if you ever checked them out. If you go to Alaska, definitely look at trying to pick some up or try them in a bar. Um, I've seen them in lots of bars up in Anchorage. Not that I've been to lots of bars, but every bar I've been to has had Port Chilliput. Uh, tell us what you think um, about Alaskan uh, craft distilleries in general because they're pretty unique to have a, a distillery up there. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey, and this is pretty good whiskey. It's very different, though. It's, eh, it's not very different. It's somewhat different. Somewhat different. Cheers. All right, laters.